What's up y'all? I just wanna talk about dialing in new coffees and focusing on extraction byproducts rather than focusing on flavors. Now, a lot of baristas will get new coffee to dial in, they'll start to pull shots and they'll be really focused on the flavors that they're getting. Citrus, cherry, plum, whatever. Now, this might be because of a preconceived notion of what certain coffees are supposed to taste like. It may be because there's certain flavor notes and taste descriptors written on the bag that was provided by the roaster. Either way, Searching for flavors when you're dialing in new coffees is not the best way to go about it. The best way to go about it is to focus on optimizing your extraction and what you should be tasting for is, is my coffee under extracted? Is it over extracted? Or am I right there in the middle with that perfect proper extraction? Because once you get to that proper extraction, assuming your coffee's quality, that's where the best flavors are going to reveal themselves. Also, flavor and tasting notes are highly subjective. So if you're dialing in a coffee and searching for someone else's interpretation of what this coffee is, instead of just focusing on optimizing the extraction, you could put yourself on a wild goose chase and never get those flavor notes. We're moving a little bit. So what are some indicators of your extraction level? Well, if your coffee's under extracted, it's probably gonna be sour. It might even be a little salty. And it could even give you what we call the face changer or that really intense puckering feeling that kind of makes your mouth just shrivel up. If your coffee's over extracted, it's gonna be bitter, dry, astringent, leave this really, really dry taste in your mouth and the finish, almost kind of like you put a piece of paper on your tongue and kind of sucked on it for a little bit and it's gonna be boring at best. Now, a lot of people who are new at tasting espresso will misclassify the intensity or that face changer effect from an under extracted shot as bitterness. Now, bitterness is definitely offensive, but it's not always super intense. So let's say you had an espresso and you pumped a ton of water through it, really over extracted it. It's gonna be really bitter, but it's also gonna be pretty dilute and watered down. So the bitterness is not going to be as intense as you might think it would be. So. Make sure that when you're tasting and it tastes real intense that you don't automatically classify that as bitterness. Now when you get to that proper extraction, what you should taste is a lot of sweetness. You should taste a lot of flavor clarity. It should taste really open. And the finish should be really pleasant and last for a really long time. And the finish should have almost kind of a wet feel to it. It shouldn't be dry at all. And what are some things you can do to fix some of the extraction issues that you're having? Well, in a nutshell, if your coffee's under extracted, you could either drop the dose, increase your extraction yield, tighten up your grind, make it finer, or brew for a longer period of time. If your coffee's over extracted, you could increase your dose or lower your yield. You can make the grind a little bit coarser or brew for a shorter period of time. All those things will work, but if you're dialing in a new copy, I'd recommend sticking with at least one constant. And for me, that's the dose. So I'll pick a dose that I think is gonna work, start pulling shots, Manipulate the grind setting, time frame, yield, while keeping the dose constant. Then after I've exhausted all of my other resources and I still am not getting what I want, then I'll start to change the dose. But picking that constant really helps to make dialing a lot faster. So while we do want good flavors, the best flavors are a result of awesome coffee paired with an awesome extraction. That's where you're gonna get the best flavors that this coffee has to offer. Now this is all assuming you have good quality coffee. There is a case to be made about manipulating extraction to mask coffee quality issues, but that's a whole nother thing. Focusing on extraction byproducts has been such a game changer for me because it allows me a ton of freedom. I don't feel confined to flavor notes that somebody else wrote and it really became easier all of a sudden to dial in a bunch of different coffees because all you have to do Get that extraction where you want it and everything's gonna be golden. All right, y'all, hope that was helpful. I'm gonna keep driving on this weird, crazy road and I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace. I am stuck in traffic. Amazing.